Okay, so boom! The scene starts off with Obito pulling up to the rain village to snatch them Renegon eyes from Nagato. Of course that man pulls up in style. You know he never misses a chance to flex that overpowered Kamui. Like that man does not walk anywhere. But I can't blame him because I'd spam that move too. Before he can even take a single step, Konan's already on his tail right behind him. She demands to know why he's here and of course Obito tells her that he wants Nagato's eyes. She clearly feels disrespected by that answer but in the most robotic AI generation rated voice she says you're not gonna find him here what the you're telling me that's not siri she sound just like her. no Naga, it's big conan and i don't sound like damn, no damn okay, siri my bad. after letting obito know that he won't find nagato here she turns herself into a bunch of little paper butterflies and flies away as to how she's able to move so freely without the paper getting wet is beyond me obito kamui's right behind her and now they're standing face to face in the middle of the water talking that smack seems like you're not gonna tell me where you hid the renegon no i'm not gonna tell you where they are i knew your whole ass was gonna come looking for it so i've been waiting for you to show up and now that you're here i will stop you bro be for real you don't stand a chance and i'm not going easy on you either call me obito christopher brown uchiha the way these hands are rated e for everyone this not the 1800s equal rights equal fights obito then proceeds to ask her why she betrayed him for naruto and she gives some bs response talking about some he is the light that's why we all can carry flowers of hope man if you don't shut your ass up am i supposed to be jumping for joy that she's a good guy now you think i forgot the fact that she played a part in jiraiya's death Nah, forget all that friendly junk. I want blood. She then starts schooling Obito on how the Akatsuki only exists because of Yahiko and how Nagato's Renegon belongs to the Rain Village. But immediately after hitting him with that speech, she doesn't waste a second and sends a bunch of paper shurikens right at Obito. But of course, he doesn't move an inch and they go straight through him. He begins to laugh and then fact checks her by saying he's the one who pushed Yahiko to start the Akatsuki and that he gave Nagato the Renegon in the first place. All of this is crazy news to her because the camera pans to her face and she is in complete shock. But if I'm being honest, I don't could care, care less who care. started the Akatsuki. All I know is whoever made that robe needs to drop this shinobi nonsense and start a clothing brand. Look at the design. This yes, junk sir. is straight yes, heat. Sir. They really cooked with this one. A chrome hearts nigga. Catch me at fashion week dripped out like pain. Piercings and all. Like name me a more iconic fit than the Akatsuki robe in all of anime. Nah, wait. Exactly, you can't. After taking in everything Obito just said, Konan's too stunned to speak. So she immediately boots up her paper wings and rushes at Obito. She uses a bunch of little pieces of paper to try and overwhelm him, hoping to catch him off guard when he materializes. But Obito spots her in the midst of all the paper, grabs her by her neck, then hits her in all her paper with that classic combo. But mid suck, Obito realizes that she mixed in paper palms with her paper. Turns out her plan all along was to take him with her into the afterlife because the next thing we see is Obito chilling there with a piece of his mask gone and a whole arm completely blown off. But of course, he's chilling like all one-handed Naruto characters do. I've already talked about this before. They're just built different. A whole piece of your arm gets chopped off and not even a blink. Yeah, you got it, bro. But I'm not even pressed about the arm. Look at the condition of the robe. She done torn a whole piece off. You can't disrespect the drip like that. Hold on, this might work. He, he got, got that shit on though. Kotsky season two line on the way. Now Obito pressing Conan on why she switched up in the first place, questioning her on how she could be persuaded by such a naive boy. Then we get a flashback of her wrapping up Nagato and Yahiko's body while talking to Naruto. She over there talking about some Nagato, Nagato chose, chose to, to put, put his faith, faith in you, so, so now I will do the, do the same. same. If this isn't the meat ride of death, Nagato is dead. We gotta start thinking for ourselves now. When you were younger, you ever get asked the question if your friend jumps off the bridge are you gonna jump too well i definitely know her answer she's swan diving off that bridge right after him. she taking ride or die to different heights conan's ready to end this fight so she raises her hand and hits her garbage one line then parts the water like the red sea obito caught off guard begins to fall into the gaping abyss so he tries to teleport out of there but conan doesn't even give him the chance because she immediately sends a bunch of paper bombs right towards him forcing him to get rid of them instead of commoing out of there now this is where i can give Conan her flowers because she was one of the few ninjas that read the scouting report. She really did her homework but after all she is Siri so I'm not Keep even surprised. Nita. She reveals that she's been paying close attention to Obito all these years. Eventually she realized that when he transports himself elsewhere he must materialize first. She also recognized that it takes longer to transport himself than it does to transport objects. She even got the exact math down pack stating that he can only slip through objects for a total of five minutes. So 
to ensure that he dies, she amassed 600 billion paper bombs just so that the explosions continue for at least 10 minutes. Now this... This is a big brain play. I gotta clap it up for her. She's honestly just like me for real. If I'm working for a bunch of evil niggas, best believe I got a 50 page notebook on everyone's abilities. You expect me to trust a nigga who tried to kill a baby for his own selfish reasons? Absolutely not. I'm sleeping with one eye open every night. Conan lowers her hand and detonates all the paper bombs surrounding Obito, causing a whole bunch of giant explosions. As the water begins to settle, we see Conan on all fours, mouth open. Breathing hard as hell. She drained almost all her chakra with that one jutsu, but hey, it was all worth it because she killed Obito in the end, right? Yes. Wrong. Right as she begins to lower her guard, Obito pops up behind her with the most evil glare and stabs her in her stomach. Confused as to how he's still alive, she begins to ask him questions. I ran the simulations over and over. You should be dead. Simulation? <laughs> yeah, I got her ass. What human talks like that? I've been trying to tell y'all she's AI generated. This is Siri. Nonetheless, her question is valid. How do you survive 600 billion paper bombs detonating for 10 minutes straight? What new secret jutsu is he about to reveal? But when Obito says that he used the Izanagi, I rolled my eyes and almost chopped my desk in half. That scamming ass jutsu. That's the same jutsu Danzo used to escape death all them times against Sasuke. That move is the equivalent of playing tag as children, but as soon as you're about to get caught, you call timeout. Man, hell no. I hated them kids. Eventually, he starts giving a whole history lesson on the Izanagi and the Sage of Six paths but honestly i don't care i'm still pissed about this mickey mouse move conan not trying to hear this man yap in her ear for any longer so she stumbles away from obito with a hole through her stomach but just when i thought she was gonna drop to her knees and bleed out the rain begins to stop and a rainbow appears out of nowhere then she suddenly gets a second burst of energy now she over there screaming i too believe in naruto and it's his turn now naruto will be the bridge to peace and i vow right now to be the pillar that supports him now this is cute and all but it's like this girl was just gasping for air three seconds ago talking about some <laughs> Big <laughs> Sounding like death was knocking on her door. Now she's spitting bars with the breath control of Buster Rhymes. Nah, something not adding up. But you know what? I'll just chalk it up to the power of friendship and her dead homies giving her life. Conan boots up this giant rotating paper halo and throws it straight at Obito. But that nigga hits the cleanest spin and dodge move I've ever seen. This man dodged it without slowing down at all. She boots up another one and throws it right at him while simultaneously redirecting the one that Obito dodged originally, sending it right back towards him. The two giant paper her halos collide and create a big explosion and for a second she thinks that she might have got him but then she looks up and sees that he's in the air untouched while he's still in the air she wastes no time and sends a bunch of paper shurikens his way but obito swats them away with ease using just his one hand after getting rid of all the shurikens he rushes at her chokes her then puts her under a genjutsu to make her reveal where the renegon is shaking my head i take back the ride or die title i gave you. because a real ride or die would have taken one of those paper shurikens and unalived her just so he couldn't get the Renegon. But I guess not all Akatsuki members are built like Kisame. Obito finally gets the drop on where she's hiding the Renegon, so he strolls in there and approaches Nagato. Hey, wait a minute. Who the f is that? That don't look like Nagato. That's Michael Jackson. I know Obito wants his eyes, but who already came and took his nose? My fault, y'all. Let me not disrespect the dead. R.I.P. Nagato and R.I.P. Michael. Obito takes Nagato's body and puts him in the Kamui dimension. Then the cameraman cuts to Conan, laid out, dead as hell, floating in the water. And thus marks the end of Pain and all affiliates. Overall, a slightly underrated fight. Conan really proved me wrong, showing me that she's actually nice. But ultimately, it was Obito Toe's ability to channel his inner Chris Breezy that made him victorious. Uh, I don't really wanna know. Shorty telling me her name. I don't really wanna know. Had to wake up, go to work. I ain't really wanna go. Happy with me on my side. He be with me on the low.